Here, let's go to Surah 41, verse 44. Part of the reason why I switched, why I reverted from Christianity to all Islam, is because the Quran answered all the questions. And what if we had made it a Quran in a foreign tongue? They would have said, why have not its messages been made clear? What? A foreign tongue and an Arab say... It you just said the Quran is not a clear. So how you say to me, we can explain the Quran in the same time? It's not a clear. Now you know what? I will go with you, Rajan. You are playing games with me. If the Quran is a clear, explain to me chapter 3, verse number 14. Chapter 3, verse number 14. I want you to explain this verse to me. You believe that the Quran is the book of God, and this means that this book should be clear. Because it doesn't make sense, God, he make a book to confuse people. What this verse means, sir? And please don't give me a speech. Who is talking there, and who is talk he's talking about what, and this verse is about who? This is a question, is for me, is extremely important. As a test for you, Quran. Is it a book of God or not? This verse will prove that, that to us in a very easy way. Who is the one who made in the eye of men to love things, the covet, women, sons, money, horses, gold, silver, even who made those desires beauty in the eye of man? Your mind. And you interrupted me too, right, in the middle of the Surah. What did I tell you about that, Christian Prince? Now, if you want to have a proper debate, we'll have a proper debate. If you want to discuss, we'll discuss like gentlemen. But if you want to act in a Christian manner, just call it right now. Because as I said, it is to those who believe a guidance and a healing. And to those who believe not, there is a deafness in their ears, and it is obscured to them by far. These are called to from... I hope you will not run. The question is, the verse you mentioned, who is the one who closed and sealed the ears of those who don't listen? Your mic? Well, the same God, Yahweh, Elohim, Allah. God guides those who seek Him. As you said in, in your previous statement, this is not the question. You see why I'm giving you a dot? I learned, Mr. Rajin, that Muslims, they will never answer until you put them in the corner. The question is, you said that those who their heart is sealed, there is people their heart is sealed, right? This is what you said. I'm asking you, those who their heart is sealed, is sealed by who? Is it a hard question to answer? Who is the one, to, the one who sealed the heart of those people you are talking about? Satan or Allah? Your mind. people themselves are the ones that seal it. Christian prince, they refuse, they love something in their life much more than they do God. So Lie. The Quran say the opposite. And this is why we prove that you are a false Muslim. You are someone who convert to Islam because you are a potato. I'm not, I'm not insulting you. Open chapter 7, chapter 2, verse number 7. And read with me. Your God, Allah, is Satan. He is the one who sealed their heart. This is not explanation. Do you see it? He is the one who closed their eyes. He is the one who will not, them, not let them understand because he is Satan. This is a chapter 2, verse number 7. So why you are lying to us saying that those, they are the one, they are, they, they close their heart by their own. They close their eyes by their own. This is false. This is lie. It is Satan who did this. And who is Satan? The proof is in front of you. Because the one who will close people's eyes, he don't want them to hear. He don't want them to see. He don't want them to understand. Is Satan. And the verse saying it clearly. Allah is Satan. Mike is yours. Then you're totally disregarding the scripture because the same thing said. Many are called, but few are chosen. How come many are called to God, but few? False. Many are called, if you are chosen, which means the one who accepts is the chosen one. They're chosen to be accepted. 
They are called. All of them, they are called. Only few will accept the, accept, the, the, the invitation. Listen to me. I am giving you a verse. You just said, lying to us, that those who they block their heart, who? The people. Why you are lying to us? Did you do that in purpose? Or you are practicing your religion as a Muslim according to Surah 3 verse 28? Explain to the room why Allah sealed the heart of people. He don't want them to see. He don't want them to know. Unless he is Satan. No, my. You see why I say, Mr. Rajin, you don't fit to stay in my room for five minutes. In less than five minutes, you are in the corner. Your God, Allah, is Satan. He is the one who don't want to make people understand. Did you get it? Now you're mine. Explain this verse for me. And you know what? I have a question I, I gave you already. Still you don't want to explain it to me. But you know what? I will give it to you again back after you tell us why Allah He don't want those people to open their heart. Why He want to seal their hearing and their eyes. What is left? Your God is Satan. Your mic. Blasphemy doesn't hurt me, brother. All right. See, you're only taking one verse. You got to take the whole of the Quran, just like you're supposed to take the whole of the scriptures. You... False. It doesn't matter. It's one or two or ten. You know what? You can't take twenty. Allah says that clearly. I am the one who sealed the hearts. And I can't give you more. Just wait. What do you want me to give you? The whole Quran? Are we together? This is funny. I'm not giving you even explanation. This is a very clear verse in the Quran. Now you know what? Give me a verse in the Quran opposite this, to this one. And then we will see a contradiction. Because how you blame them for not being understanding, in the same time you are the one who made them nothing to understand. You see how stupid the Quran guys? He, he, he complained that those people, infidels, they don't want to understand. In the same time he said to us, I am the one who blocked their heart. I am the one who will not make them see. I am the one who will make them blind and deaf. And those is false infidels don't want to understand. Well, you just told us you are the one you don't want them to understand. If Allah made me blind, who can make me see? You get the point? Is it my fault? No, it's not. Your God is Satan. Please don't give me a speech. You're mine. Read the verse and give me the answer for the other verse. Chapter 3, verse 14. You see, I'm connecting pictures together just to show you that Allah is Satan. In chapter 3, verse 14, who is the one who made desire beauty for men? Desire of women, desire of boys, desire of uh, horses, desire of gold, tons of gold, tons of silvers, of power, whatever. Who is the one who made that? desire, beauty in the eyes and the heart of men. Can you tell us please? Is it Satan or Allah? I want a clear answer. Your mic. Um, you're going to let me finish speaking or we're done. Because again, go to Surah 1857, it explains. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the messages of his Lord? Then he turns away from them and forgets what his hands have sent before. Surely we have... Sir, pause the verse. Pause the verse. As you see, when I talk, I pause the verse. Don't give me a speech. Pause the verse. Thank you. Any verse you want to mention, pause it for us. Your mic. Go to uh, Surah 18.57. Go ahead and read it. Then while you're at it, do you own a Bible? I mean, do you own scriptures, Christian Prince, or do you just... Sir? I said, pause the verse, just to show you that's what you are not reading is not true. Pause the verse. Surah, pause the verse. I'm not saying pause the number. Pause the verse. We are not forbidding you, sir, from using the text. As you see, when I mention something to you, I pause the verse. So what I'm saying to you, 